Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Imani. I do things like home decor, home decorating, and home inspiration. So in today's video, we will be doing a series of my living room when I actually designed it and did it over. I want you guys to comment and let me know which part was your favorite and which style that you actually enjoyed. And if you actually like to enjoy this content, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to share. I love you guys. Now let's go ahead and get started. So guys, I wanted to take you all back to where it all started. This is how my living room looked before I had actually renovated it. The white stuff that you see on the wall is actually drywall mud and my house definitely had real wood. So I did cover it up with some drywall mud in between the cracks and then I also did over the fireplace as well. But you guys will see that once you guys get a little bit further in the video how it actually turned out. It was a total transformation. Like I still cannot believe the house used to look like this versus the way it look right now and if you guys do have wood paneling in your house like real wood because this is real wood and it's still in my house it's just cover um you guys can definitely take some drywall mud and go in between the cracks and then just kind of paint over it with a couple of coats of primer and then also just the color that you want to use i did use a satin finish on the paint that i ended up using and it was very like pigmented so it was like I didn't have to really like use like a ton of paint and it was a really good quality. I think it was by Valspar and I got it from Lowe's and it's actually in the Sanctuary Gray. But yeah, I just want to show you guys how everything looked as far as the living room style um, before we actually um, start, you know, decorating with different styles and, you know, ideas in today's video. But guys, I just want to show you guys how it looked. But yeah, this is how it looks. As you see, I did the floors over. Um, this was laminate flooring. Now I have the um, luxury vinyl pill and stick, not pill and stick. Now I have the luxury vinyl towel <laughs> that I got from Lowe's, which was like 50 summer box, which is really good quality too. So I definitely recommend that luxury vinyl towel because my floors looks absolutely gorgeous, which you guys will see once we start the video. So I just want to show you guys how the living room looked before we actually renovated it. Hope you guys enjoy.
and welcome back to a, another vlog guys so in today's video we got a few things going on first things first y'all i want to go to home goods right now to see if they still got that couch and y'all if they got it i'm getting it i don't already transfer funds and everything if they got it i'm definitely getting it i did not get it last time because it was raining it was a lot going on and i just did not have everything i needed to actually get it right then and there but we are going to go today and see if they got it so cross fingers 
that they still got it because I want that gray couch, y'all. Because I think I could really create a really cute space. Anyways, let me not be rude. If you're new here, hi, my name is Imani. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like any of my content or like to create the space that you want to live in, okay? And if you're returning, then hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, y'all, so we are now in the store. The sofa is here. I repeat, the sofa is here. Your girl done snatched it up. Okay, now here she is. I thought she was gone at first, but she is right there. So we are securing the sofa right now. Um, yeah, she's gorgeous. Here she go. I'm not sure how many people done sat on it, but she still look clean, so very comfortable. That's the price. So yeah, um, we're gonna go ahead and get her, get her covered, and then my man said he gonna pick it up for me, so. It's late, we getting what we want, let's go. Okay, so, um, well first off, let me just say, the living room is still the same, okay? Everything is still the same in the living room. However, what I'm gonna do is, once we get the couch, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the couch like right here, and then eventually get rid of this. What I, what I really wanna do, is I wanna take this couch to the Goodwill while I got the U-Haul truck. That's really what I wanna do. I wanna take this couch to the Goodwill. I know, my fave couch. I wanna take it to the Goodwill um, because I don't have time to sell this. There's no room for this couch in my house. And then also, I wanna get rid of this rug too. So, and we just gonna start, I mean, we just gonna do a clean slate, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and do a clean slate. I hope you guys are excited because it's a lot going on. We about to do some real big changes in here. So we are now at the Goodwill, about to go ahead and donate the sofa and the um, rug. Can't believe it's leaving. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and just put it right over here. That was pretty fast. Now we are getting in the truck and we're about to go ahead to Home Goods. So let's go. Okay, guys, so we are now in the store and the sofa is coming now. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up and stuff while I'm in here.
hey guys so this is the sofa right here it looks absolutely gorgeous i want you guys to comment let me know what you guys think i love it it's by rachel and it is gel memory foam cushions and it just looks gorgeous i love the color it looks so good let me tell you what i did first things first it was a picture right here i took that down i'm trying to get rid of so much black i want to put these two mirrors up right here and then also i want to move these i don't want that black book there but i still had the black decor just in case i still want to go back to that color right the doors are going to stay black i want to switch these curtains to white i'm not sure how i feel about this me personally i feel like this wall should be a whole bookshelf i think it'll open it up white wood decor okay this is all of the silver decor that i have that i'll obviously keep that still looks good and then we have both of the lamps right here i don't know how i feel about this little ancient piece anymore guys i loved it when i first got it but i feel like it just went right with my rug that I had before in the black sofa, but I don't think I want it anymore. It was only $20 and it is like a real antique. So super heavy as well. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about this when the time comes, but I feel like for this style and this sofa, it just doesn't flow the way I want it to. Cause I feel like this is more newer modern and this is more like ancient, like classic. And it's just not the vibe that I want anymore in here. So comment, let me know what you guys think. And then also let me know what do you guys think about a bookshelf going along here too as well. Open shelves, decor. I definitely want to do some white curtains. Because this is what I was thinking, right? At first I was like, hmm, maybe I can just keep it black. And then let it be like, you know, like the black accent colors. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But I don't think I want to do that. I still think it's enough black in here. For example this right here that's already black that's already black down there this is the table that i've been having okay which came from amazon so i'm glad that i have this because that's going to go with anything i did move the black chairs that was over here because eventually i want those gone so i do have those to the side just to catch a vibe okay so this is what i was thinking at first i was like maybe i can keep the curtain rods but I think I want those to be silver now. I'm pretty sure. Comment, let me know what you guys think. The sofa is about, I think I measured about 88 inches last night. Okay, so this is how it's looking close up. It's like a really light gray, looks gorgeous. And it's not too dark and that's what i love about it because it's like really neutral so it looks really good okay it looks really cute and then like i said it has like a velvet like material very soft the cushions are really nice and firm and it sits a lot higher than a black couch too as well and then it also has support for your back as well okay now as far as rugs go um as you guys seen i did get rid of the rug that i had which was that black white and gray again it kind of um went with the um little piece right here so to me it didn't make sense to keep that rug if i want to open up the space more and just make it light and airy so i do want a rug that just really complements the sofa and not complement the black couch anymore so I do want a rug. My last rug was a eight by 10, but I think this time I want to get a seven by 10 because I don't want to necessarily cover up all the floors. Okay. Go ahead to the back. This is how it looks in the back. Okay. As you guys can see, it's a really light gray. And that's what I love about it. So now I'm like, do I want to keep the inside of that fireplace black? 
Or do I want it to be white? Or should I just add white stuff in it? And then it just pop either way it got. So you guys comment, let me know about that. This is the sofa. I'm so glad I got it. It was definitely the right move. It's close up here. The cushions are really thick, sits really high. The quality is really nice. It looks like good quality and it feels like good quality. That's the goal. Okay. Step back here for you guys. It looks gorgeous, especially with the spring and everything coming up. And I definitely believe when I add those white curtains, it'll make it even brighter in here and more inspiring. So yeah let me know what you guys think about the curtains being changed to white and if not white what color do you guys think i should switch it to i want you guys to give me your input in the comments below looks really cute three seater really nice I forgot to tell you guys um she was a thousand dollars but like I said the quality was really good so I didn't mind doing it plus y'all know if you're new here I've been looking for the perfect sofa for this space for a very long time if you're a real OG and you don't been my supporter for a while now you know <laughs> I've been looking for the perfect sofa and I can remember a few months back when I found this other great sofa at Ashley's. But that one ain't got nothing on this one. <laughs> okay. Can we agree in the comments? That was darker. It's set lower. And this just looks way better. Like I love the fact that the seats are um, deep. Okay. So it's like deep seats. Looks really good. So actually when I sit back in the seat, my feet comes out the ground. So love that. So I feel like I'm being carried. And I feel like I did not had that feeling with the black couch. It was just very low to the ground. I didn't have any back support and my feet was always hanging on the ground and stuff like that. So I want you guys to comment, let me know, how do you guys feel about the new couch, um, the new addition to the living room? She looks so gorgeous. I love this so much. Good morning, my love. So today is officially a new day. So the rug did come last night, so I'm super excited to show you guys today. Okay guys, here she is. This is the rug. It is in an eight by 10. This is the brand right here, which is pretty popular. I've heard about this a lot. I think they got their own website, but I did get this rug off of Amazon. So, I'm excited. Got the little social medias right here. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can see some more deets on here. I guess this is like the, the style. I think that's the style down number california but yeah guys she is extremely tall if i come back here you guys can see she basically goes all the way up to the ceiling like she is so tall y'all this couch is so heavy <laughs> y'all don't even understand <laughs> y'all don't even understand how heavy this couch is like i promise y'all and i think it's because of the jail cushions but man this couch is so heavy it makes no sense but it's really good quality, so I know I'm gonna get my money's worth. I can't wait to actually chill on it. But I'm gonna push this all the way back just to make sure I got enough room and then we're gonna go ahead and move my ginger jar and the lid. So basically, um, I forgot what I was saying, y'all. I talked so much. I literally forgot what I was saying. But let's go ahead and get her open. I'm so excited but nervous at the same time.
Good morning guys and welcome to a brand new day guys. So we are in the living room right now. So I did go ahead and take off the books and the mirrors and stuff that was actually on the rug that we ended up getting from Amazon and I'm excited to show you guys how it turned out and how everything is looking. Now it is not flat completely. However, um, I do feel like it's flat enough to kind of show you guys and just show you guys kind of like how it looks with the sofa as well. I have not moved the sofa back or the coffee table because I want to show you guys how the rug looks. We're going to go ahead and get started. Okay guys, this is how the rug is looking. Oh my God, guys, isn't she gorgeous? Okay, so remember I told you guys that this is the silver and ivory. Now the ivory is supposed to be over here and then the silver is supposed to be like over here. Um, so this is how it looks from this view right here. Just want to give you guys a view from this side. Okay. So it looks absolutely stunning. Um, when you come on this side, or no, I think this side, you don't see this little extra gray part. I think that came from when it was folded up. Not sure if it's going to, um, you know, as you can see, when you come over here, it looks different. You see what I'm saying? It's almost like my headboard in my room. Like, different light makes it look different color. So, this is how the rug is looking. It is absolutely stunning. I love it. Comment, let me know what you guys think. I think it goes really well with the sofa as well as just the walls as well. Love the tablecloth, love the chairs right there now. I think it looks really pretty. So this is how it looks from right here. Okay. I do wanna see how it looks with the coffee table on there. So I might put the coffee table back on there just to show y'all how it looks. But let me know, let me see, hold on, let me go over here real quick. This is the ivory part, like I said, it does still have a couple of wrinkles in it, but this is like the ivory side. So it's like, you got like the ivory side and then like the gray side, but I just love the lightness of it. And I just think that it was just a good choice because it just brings another brightness into the space, which I love. It looks really beautiful. Then we got the sofa right here, which is looking gorgeous. Let's see how it looks from right here. And this is how it looks. So you guys see how the color of the sofa just kind of matches it. And honestly, I still feel like the sofa is lighter than the rug. But comment, let me know what you guys think. So here's a view from up here. I think it looks stunning. Now, like I said, the rug is by the brand Safavia. Um, this is a eight by 10 rug, absolutely gorgeous. What I was trying to figure out was that if I wanted it to go all the way to the fireplace or just kind of keep it off the fireplace just a little bit. I think to me, it looks good kind of off the fireplace in my opinion a little bit versus being always scooted up. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. And then, let me see, so I'm thinking, so, okay, so you guys see how long the rug is. So, I think it's the eight going this way, and then it's a 10 feet going this way. And like I said, my sofa is only about 89 inches. So like when I put this sofa on here, I don't know if I wanna put the sofa all the way on the rug or kinda keep it off a little bit. Um, I know with my black sofa, I didn't have my black sofa all the way on the rug because I kinda wanted most of the rug to like show because to me that's what just make it look grand and just feel like it's like bigger and like I got more room like and I'm really glad that I decided to go with the 8x10 because for one it makes sense and then it also just makes a big area just to put anything in so I'm really excited that I end up going for the 8x10 comment below if you guys think the 8x10 was the move, comment if you guys agree. Like now with the big rug, like the couch looks smaller. So this is what I'm thinking, y'all. I'm like, should I get the end tables that goes with my coffee table? Like, but see the end tables that go with the coffee table is a little big. And I'm not sure if they'll actually fit on both sides of this. Then again, I'm not sure if I want side tables 
to really go in this space or do I just want to kind of like you know make it different because I am all about bringing those different vibes this year um just with everything in my life when it comes to my living room my bedroom you know my lifestyle how I live what I do for work everything so um it is all about bringing different vibes this 2022 so comment let me know what you guys think but the rug looks really cute I think it turned out really nice and I'm really glad that I decided to get this rug because I just think it just goes really cute with my space. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is kind of like the pattern, close up. Okay. Okay, y'all, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually bring the um, coffee table onto the rug to see how it looks. But I think I should probably scoot the couch up first, though. Let's scoot the couch up. I'm going to scoot it down a little bit. And then, like I said, I had always planned on putting two um, legs onto the um, rug anyway. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this real quick. I'm going to scoot it down a little bit. And I'm going to just take a little Right there. Okay. So Okay, not too shabby, not too shabby. I like what it's giving. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Yeah, because I was thinking if the table was going to clash with the rug, but I think it actually goes, even though the table is like more of a glam. And to me, the rug is more like contemporary a little bit. But yeah, I think it goes cute. What I was thinking about was taking the ottomans. So I feel like I'm gonna put like one right there and then put like one right here. On that side, you'll see like two ottomans over there. I want you guys to comment, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, as you can see, um, just by putting the ottomans, um, it's just starting to look a little bit more fuller in here. And just like how things are kind of like flowing. I want to show y'all something. So now y'all see me just put these pillows on here, right? Now these pillows, um, this is just like a cream kind of pillow. I got these from Burlington. This is like um, the pattern texture on it. Now I put this on here just to give you guys an example of me being able to like put like the cream on here or I can add black or like whatever. But I wanted you guys to let me know what you thought about how the ottomans look with the sofa, okay? Now I haven't put anything right here, but I think I put the ginger jar right here just to see how it looks. Um, and then also if I was to keep the um, ottomans, should I put a throw over there as well? I know I'll probably put a throw over here, but yeah. Like I said, right now I'm just like in the open concept and just like the open space. But comment, let me know what you guys think. Um, also, I don't know if I want the um, sofa to come up some more, maybe just a little bit. I just want to keep it light and airy, so yeah. This is how it's looking right now. And these are how the ottomans are looking on this side. So this is what I was talking about, you know, just to kind of like um, have something in this space. I can always put a throw on it or whatever. Um, and then we got the couch. And then like over here, I don't really want to cover this because I feel like then it'll like cover all this up. Comment below if you kind of understand what I'm saying. And I'm about to see how it looks when I put the ginger jar on there as well. 
like I said, we just kind of playing around right now, y'all, just to see how things would actually look and be placed at. Okay, y'all, so this is what I did. I just went ahead and just added a little decor just to see how it looks. But right now, this is how it's looking with a little decor on there and the two ottomans. Okay. I just want to really show you guys how the ottomans look as well. So you got the two ottomans. And like I said, I put like a little decor on there. So, yeah. Because I'm really debating if I want to bring the ottomans up some. But I want you guys to comment, let me know. But this was just like putting a little something on there just to kind of catch the vibes. And then also kind of see my vision. So like this is how it looks from like this view. Go over here so you guys can see it from this side as well. And this is how it looks from this side. I think the Ottomans are absolutely gorgeous, honestly. Comment below, let me know what you guys think so far. But like I said, we still got more to do. Because I do want to get some little sad tables. I ain't even going to lie. I think some little sad tables really have a look cute. <laughs> Okay guys, so I wanted to show you guys how the um, throw actually looks on one of the ottomans real quick. I just want you guys to kind of see what I was saying. Like I feel like a throw can go on the ottoman or it don't. And like either way, I think it'd be cute. But I just want to show you guys how the throw looks actually on the ottoman. I want you guys to comment let me know what you guys think. Okay. But I just wanted you guys to kind of see what I was saying with like the ottoman and everything. I think it looks cute. It still looks airy. It looks pretty adorable to me. I like the throw on the ottoman. Comment below. Do you guys think I should keep the throw on there or, or take the throw off? But so far I'm loving it. Yeah, so comment, let me know, and I want to go to the store to take this other throwback and then also see if we can find some side tables, you guys. Good morning, guys, and welcome to a brand new day. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. So, guys, in today's video, we are going to do a little bit of decorating inside the living room as well as show you guys some new things that I have going on in the living room as well. I did change some things. Um, some will like, some will not, <laughs> but nonetheless, we can all talk about it, okay? So I did end up getting some in chairs. A little nervous about them um, because I know sometimes the lighting inside of the store can be different from the lighting inside of your house. So I'm a little nervous about that. But uh, so far, I do like the color. I think um, the color was maybe the right choice. Um, I did get these in chairs off of Amazon. I know in my last video, I was telling you guys that I did not want to have in chairs, but I think I uh, changed my mind. Uh, for a couple of reasons, I do think having the end chairs will fill the space and just make it more of a balance and then also just um, make it kind of match the sofa as well because my sofa is very um, newer and just more modern and it does sit a little taller. So I am actually glad that I did end up purchasing the chairs that I end up purchasing from Amazon. If you guys would like these chairs, I will make sure to link them below. And then also, like I said, I just switched some things on the couch and, you know, just kind of 
switch some little decor around so i do want to show you guys exactly what we are doing today so if you're new here hi my name is imani do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you like any of my content or creating the space that you want to live or if you just like to watch home decorating videos um i would love to have you guys so make sure you subscribe before you leave out it is a beautiful day it is sunday today's date is february 27th so it is the last sunday of february comment below everything um and i'll show you guys some new updates i'm really excited about um some things that we got coming so i'm gonna go ahead and get started hey guys so first things first i wanted to show you guys the little accent chairs that i ended up getting from amazon these chairs are like a light cream color so i do think they will be perfect for this base um and i just love these I love the fact that it's like a light cream instead of like a dark, like tan color. I'm not sure if the color is really picking up off camera, but as you guys come from this side, if you guys can tell how the um, color just kind of sort of stays the same. And I just appreciate that. I just love the cream in this and I'm glad it's more of a neutral like undertone than like a darker undertone so um the legs are a little concerning um these are some black legs i feel like um i wanted to switch the legs to like a cream color um or even like um some clear maybe like legs from amazon so i'm not too thrilled on the legs but they work um for now but this is how they look it is uh, really comfortable. I'll show you guys how it looks over here. So this is how it looks from over here. And they almost have like a pattern in them. It's almost like a, it's almost like stripes. It has like some sort of like pattern in them. It's just not just straight cloth, but it has like a pattern inside as well. If you guys can see that. I wanted to show you guys the chairs first in here. And then obviously when we go inside the living room, they will look a lot lighter because uh, this room is a little dark and I just have like this one window right here. But obviously the living room has like all the lights so, though. Um, and that's where they're going so that's perfect. But yeah, these are how they look. Uh, these chairs were, I think these were like $1.89 a piece, something like that but yeah i think they're absolutely gorgeous so we're going to go ahead and put these inside the living room and i'm going to show you guys how i want to place them and just the options that we have too as well so this is how the living room is looking right now um i did just kind of clear everything off just so i can get a fresh start uh the ottomans are over there um i'll put them back over here once i put the um chairs over here but this is how everything is looking right now now we're going to go ahead and bring the chairs in and see exactly where I want to place them. I knew I was saying like, I probably would want like one or two on this side or like on that side. But honestly, I think I want to put them against the fireplace. Well, not against the fireplace, but I feel like I want to put one right here and right here because I feel like it is still keep the space open. Comment if you guys agree versus putting it right here and right here because they are kind of big. Um, so I feel like they do kind of need room. So I feel like I'll feel more better if they were kind of like on the edge. Also guys, I end up pulling up the rug more from the fireplace to kind of show the floor. So I kind of understand what you guys meant on that. So I did pull that up some and then I also pulled the sofa up a little bit more, but not that much. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the sofa is very deep. So, and the rug is not that big. So I'm not gonna pull my sofa all the way up on this rug when the rug is not that big, you know, cause I still want it to look kind of big. So we'll see. But um, I do feel like I want to put the chairs right here. Comment if you guys agree. Because I feel like if they go right here or over here, it's just going to kind of make it look more cluttered. Versus being in a the corner, then I feel like they still have enough space. So, comment, let me know. You guys see how the color kind of blends now. Okay, so this is why I said that I don't know if I want to keep these right here 
because I feel like it kind of, I guess it don't really clutter the space, but I just think it'll look better if it was on the corner. But let me show you guys how it look from the other side. It don't necessarily clutter it too much. However, <laughs> I still feel like I want these two chairs on both of these ends. I just think it'll look better and then it will also not cover up um, my chairs back there on my dining table. Um, even if I had it on this side, I mean, it'd be cute, but I really feel like to kind of keep this center space open, I really feel comfortable with putting these on the edge of each rug. And then ultimately it still creates a conversation area too as well, just by having this right here and then also having the two chairs right here. Comment, let me know what you guys think. This is how the chairs actually look close up in the lighting inside of the living room. So I'm gonna show you guys. So if you guys notice uh, the cream color kind of like matches the pillows, okay? So, and that's what I love is just bringing in that additional color instead of it being gray because I know what I didn't want. I did not want some more gray chairs in here. Now that I have these, I really wanna get rid of those and maybe do black or white, but not gray. I love the fact that I was able to bring these in right here because to me, it just flows, right? At least to me. And true enough, they are wide, but I don't think they too big to the point where it takes away from my sofa, if that makes any sense. Especially if they are on this, these ends right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the ends right here and then we're gonna see how it looks then. I'm trying to figure out if I actually wanted to, let me see, maybe turn this some more. Let's see. But this is how it looks. You see how it kind of just goes? And I love the fact that the chairs are just not like so big to where it just, <laughs> it's just obnoxious, but this is how it looks from this side as well. So as you guys can see, the cream from the pillows just matches the chairs. And I'm loving the fact that I was able just to pull that cream out of that rug as well. But yeah. So this is how it's looking so far. Okay, so y'all, I was thinking, right? At first I had the ottomans like right here in the middle, but I think what I want to do is I think I want to put the ottomans like on the side of the chair. Let me see. Like right here. I think this is cute. Comment, let me know what you guys think. But I think the ottomans right there is cute. I can really put them anywhere I want. But for now, I just want to put them right there just to kind of see how it looks. But let me see. Hold on. So like I said, I know I can put them closer to the fireplace, but I just want to see how it looks with like something right here. Like for example, like say if somebody was sitting right here, they'll be right here and then like they'll have somewhere to place their drink and they're like interacting and they're like, hey girl, yeah, so yeah. That's what I was saying too. So basically what I wanted to do is, right? <laughs> this would be like a nice like sitting like area for somebody to actually um, put a drink or something on. I just think it's really cute. You know, have a little drink, a little hors d'oeuvre, you know. Sip a little tea, have a conversation. So I wanna take this throw right here that I showed you guys last time. I wanna take this throw and actually put it on the couch, which I was probably gonna do that anyway. I had just wanted to see how it would look on the ottoman, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the couch real quick. So I'm gonna take this throw. And I'm gonna just sit it up here like this. 
I think that looks cute. What do you guys think? I think it definitely adds a little something something to the um, couch. And this right here is just a full view for you guys. I think it looks really good though. So I'll let you guys stare at that for a second. Cause I know y'all critiquing. <laughs> like Imani, Imani. <laughs> I love y'all though. Good or bad? Y'all still my girls. And I know y'all ain't gonna tell me nothing wrong unless y'all just don't like me. <laughs> okay guys, so I have this tray right here. Now remember last time I didn't have no tray, but I just wanna just, you know, try something a little different. So I'm gonna put this tray right here. I'm gonna scoot it over here a little bit. I'm gonna put this tray right here. Now, y'all remember my ginger jar that I ended up getting from Home Goods? I did switch out the flowers. A couple of vlogs back, I was out searching for Sam's for my bedroom. So, I did take the little um, greenery that was inside of my bedroom vase and I took them out and put them inside of this ginger jar. And I just think it really just created something so beautiful. Now, to me, this is a different type of styling for me. You guys know that I never really do this type of styling. But I really think this, this is going to benefit the space. Um, and because of the space just looks very just different and just more evolved, I think this was just going to work. So like I said, the ginger jar did come from Home Goods, And these are how the stems look close up. And I just think these are going to go really cute with my space too as well. And I just think it's just going to elevate the space. So yeah. Like I said, these came from Hobby Lobby and the florals were actually $4.99 for each stem. So, I just like the way that this um, looks on the space. So, put that right there. And then I'm going to take the lid. I'm going to scoot this over a little bit. I'm going to take the lid and put it beside it like this and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my candles that you guys seen from my last video as well and just put them next to them like I said I'm trying to decorate with like less glam and just like more elegance and that's why I love the fact that I put these stems in here because to me it just creates um a more elegant vibe a more um just more of a modern almost like a staged home so yeah so yeah this is how it looks so far with the ginger jar and the tray and me just putting the um crystal clear candle holders from home goods well, let's go ahead and put some pillows onto these accent chairs so guys i think i'm going to take these um white now at first i thought these was too big but when i put some smaller ones on them they just did not look right um and i think these just go good with them this is just some regular um downy feathered pillows that came from amazon and then i also got this velvet white pillowcase to go over them and i just think these just match the space as well so I just love what this is giving. Come on, Feather, get up. So I just love what it's giving right now. Comment below if you guys agree with putting the white pillows onto the accent chair. Because like I said, clearly you can tell that neutral cream that it is now, especially in like the lighting. So. 
you could tell the difference between the cream color and the white pillows so i want you guys to comment and let me know what you guys think i think it is absolutely gorgeous and i think the big pillows just make it look even more grand in my opinion <laughs> but and i just love ottomans on the side oh another thing too i do want to get more stems okay so the stems do look a little shady like i think i'll add some more comment if you guys agree i think i'll add a little more just uh for it to look uh more fuller but even if i didn't it still just look open and very spring like so i think it still looks good either way but comment let me know what you guys think Yeah, this is pretty. I love this face. This looks incredible. I'm so glad I decided to go with these chairs. Wow. Now I feel like I want a different painting. This looks so good. Wow. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new day, guys. So in today's video, I'm actually wanted to show you guys how those pieces look on top of the mantle that I was telling you guys about yesterday when I did the haul. And then also guys, I'm thinking about actually taking a TV down to see how it actually looks without a TV up there and just kind of have the white fireplace showing and then maybe like add some decor up there. Um, I don't really watch a lot of TV in my living room. So I am curious to see how it looks if I just add decor and actually take the TV down because as you guys know, the TV is black. Um, it doesn't look too bad up there, but I do want to see how it looks with the TV down too as well. And then just go ahead and um, show you guys how the decor look that I wanted to show you guys yesterday. And then I'm still thinking about what I want to put inside the fireplace as well. So I definitely want to take down the TV because it is really big um, and it's black. So it's, um, you know, <laughs> so it's not really light. So I'm definitely curious to see how that looks. If you're new here, hi, my name is Imani. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like anything home decor or making up the space that you want to live in. And if you're returning, then hey girls, welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how some pieces look on top of the mantle without the TV and bring the TV down and, and then just show you guys how the living room look right now. Also, we did go to Home Goods. I did not find a picture that I really liked or that I was like in love with. And then I'm still looking for a, another painting to go in the back of the couch and also maybe put like a little credenza um, up under it. I think that'd be really cute. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how the fireplace looks without the TV and then we're gonna like kind of play around and put some little decor to see how it looks. See, I see how the TV look up here, right? Like I said, it doesn't look bad, okay? It's just really big up here and I'm not sure if I feel like I need a TV in the living room really. I would love to really put decor up here in my opinion. I just wanna see how it looks without the TV being up here. As you guys can see, just taking that TV down really just created a whole nother vibe in here. I want you guys to comment and let me know, but I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I like the TV down. Now I thought I wouldn't like it, but I actually like the TV down. Like. It actually looks better to me. And I don't mind not watching TV because I'm already on TV. <laughs> so I don't mind. You know, and then I got my small TV in my room if I just have to watch TV. But I don't have to have that big TV up there. Comment if you guys agree. It just looks so much better without the TV. Wow. I was not expecting for it to look this good. See, like now I feel like I can put like books on here. And you know, just really create a vibe. I just want to play with some stuff real quick. Like I said, we're just seeing something real quick. If I was to put some candles over there. Okay, so y'all, so this is what I was thinking, right? Um, I think I want to take these candles and actually put them up here. So let's see how that looks real quick. I think these will look cute, hold on. Like put one like right here. And then put one like right here. Hmm. What y'all think about this? I think I like it. I think I like those up there. Plus, I ain't, I ain't really gotta worry about nobody touching those. 
I think it looked pretty good. Comment, let me know what you guys think. I'm so glad I took that TV off the wall because y'all, I'm telling y'all, it made a difference. And I know y'all agree with me too. Okay, so now that I put those up there, I'm gonna just scoot this over here. I'm gonna scoot this in like the middle. Yeah. Because simple is always more anyway. So I feel like this looks good with the tray, gender jar, and a candle. Yeah. I think it still looks good. Plus the candles was a little tall, so it works. Okay guys, so let's take these right here and put them on top of the fireplace and actually see how it looks. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about putting one like right here, right? And just kind of leaning it up against it like that. And then taking the other one and putting it like right here. Like that. Let me see how that looks. Wow, that looks beautiful. Oh, wow. I was not expecting for this to look. Oh, this is gorgeous. You guys, comment and let me know. What do you guys think? I think this looks really good. That looks pretty. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, I feel like I need some greenery up there now. Oh my God, my little style is just evolving. I'm here for it. You guys, what do you think? I think it looks really good, girls. I think that's a W, y'all. That look good, girl. I'm like, should I add some books on the end? Let's add a little book, see what it do. Let me just add a little book just to see how it looks. I'm like, should I add the books right there or do we not need books? We might not need books, y'all. It's looking good. Okay, so I'm gonna take the books off because I'm not really a fan of the books. Are you guys loving it? I think I'm in love with it. I was thinking about um, adding those black pillows, but I'm pretty sure I do not need those because I feel like it's enough black in here and it's enough black over there. Um, what I had created in my last video which looks really good um, I do believe it's like a Pinterest worthy type of living room <laughs> so I am proud of what I did so far like I said these pictures right here are from Madison um, collection and I got them from the Goodwill for um, $13 they were $12.99 a piece so I do think these are beautiful um, I did have some comments about the candles actually fading into the wall I get it um but it actually doesn't look that bad to me now I will think about switching them out when I put the mirrors up here just kind of see how they look plus I want to use the candles that's on there anyway um but yeah I think when they kind of like get lost in there it doesn't look like so much is on the mantle in my opinion so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take these off 
So I think I'm gonna use these in um, another space. And then also I want to use these candles as well. And I wanna take these down. Now, what I want to do right now, I just want to play with these. I just want to see how these actually look on the mantle. I mean, because I do feel like you can still see them. Let's see how this looks. Kind of cute. Comment, let me know what you guys think so far of that. I think that actually looks kind of cute, but I want you guys to comment and let me know. But I'm thinking if I should put those on the end, let's see here. Okay guys, so these are the mirrors I was telling you guys about. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up here like this. Now these are taller than the pictures was. So let's see how these look. Like I said, these are a little taller than the pictures was. But like I said, we just playing around just to see how it looks. And this is how it looks with the mirrors. I feel like, I mean, it doesn't look bad. Um, I just feel like I don't like that you can see the ceiling fan. This is how it looks when I put the two mirrors on the edge. Cause I didn't kind of like, I didn't like them like next to each other, but this is how they look on the edge. Comment, let me know what you guys think. And then what I'm thinking is, is to put the um, candle holders in the middle. Like I said, we just playing around just to see what all I can actually do with this mantle, you know, just to make things a little different. But let's go ahead and put something in the middle to see how it looks. I'm gonna start with a plant and then I'm gonna put the candles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the candles, right? And then also I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some books and sit them next to the um, candles and see how it looks. liking the space with the different types of elements so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna go ahead and take some books real quick and I'm gonna just see how they look so I'm gonna take this book right here I thought I had another black book I thought I had another black book but 
I'm gonna just take this book right here. I'm gonna set it up here. Like I said, we're just playing around to see just like, what all can we actually do with this space? y'all so what i did was i ended up adding this little black vase right here i would like some greenery to go in here and i feel like that's the only thing that this is missing however i do not have greenery right now but i do want to go to hobby lobby and probably pick up some i'm not sure if i'll bring you guys with me though i do feel like i want some greenery something like this but like it don't even have to be the exact ones like i said because hobby lobby has just so much greenery um but i think i want some stems to go in here that just kind of go a little high and i think that will kind of complete the mantle space comment below if you guys agree this is just like a close-up of what i've done so far yeah but i do feel like if i put some greenery in that black vase it's really gonna pop so that's what i want to go look for today i want you guys to tell me do you guys like the fireplace and how it's looking with the mantle also i still need to pick up some firewood as well like I said, we got some little last minute things to do before we're actually ready for the finale. But I do want some stems to go inside of that little black vase. I think it'll look really cute. And I don't think the um, vase is too big. Plus, once I get the stems, they'll be a little taller. So they kind of look like the ginger jar. So I think it'll be cute. So guys, I want to put these books right here to see how they look. I think they're going to go real well and actually kind of bring a little bit black to the... Um, coffee table then I want to take these and kind of place it right here I just thought it worked well with the space. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. Okay, girl, so it looked like I'm going to go ahead and take out a Hobby Lobby with me real quick because I want to get these stamps real quick to see how it looks. So let's head out. cream ones these are actually like a cream color but these are actually white which i'm not mad at that um so it's the same type of i think yeah it's the same type of flowers that we just got from hobby lobby um and they were 4.99 and they were actually 50 percent off too as well like i said i couldn't tell if i had got the cream or the white ones but the cream ones are actually right here that i already had at home and these are actually the white ones so i'm gonna go ahead and put these inside of the little black jar and see how it looks try to catch some vibes 
Okay. Uh, so I did end up getting, um, I think, a total of six of these, just in case I wanted it to be kind of full. So, no, I will have to probably take these tags off though, because you can see them. So. But just adding that greenery, it's already starting to look 10 times better. No! What am I think? No, what am I think? Oh my gosh. Can you not? Like, can you not? My little petals, two of my little petals came off. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have to cut those stems off. I gotta cut these off because these are a problem. I think I like the white ones better, honestly. Comment, let me know which ones you guys like better. white ones look really pretty the other ones I got too is really pretty too though I like both of them but so far I feel like you can already tell a difference with them I don't know if I'll bend them um I might but I can already tell the difference so I did get like I said six of them I thought I got eight two one two three four five six I guess I got six I thought I had got eight of them though but that's fine because I think they'll still look good I probably should have got eight of them though This is how they look so far. I'm thinking if I want to bend them or not to where the long part don't show. I think it looks cute though. Like I said, these are the white ones at the top and then these are the cream ones at the bottom. But yeah, I think it looks really cute. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, I did take everything down from the mantle. I did want to start with like a new slate. Um, I do not want the mantle to look too busy and stuff like how I had it last time because I do feel like I was going kind of backwards when I put the mirrors up there and I was like I said trying different things um, that's what I've been doing with, like the whole living room like makeover period is kind of just trying different things on the mantle seeing what works and what doesn't work on here so I would like to actually kind of tone it down a little bit um, and just make it more of a classic feeling and not um, so um, cluttery because I do believe that's what kind of makes the space just looks like a magazine because it's not cluttered and everything is just well put together. So I did want to start with a clean slate. So I will go ahead and just, like I said, use the sketches that I used before, but just try to put them in like a different way and then also add some things on the end too as well. And then I want you guys to tell me what you guys think. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna start with is actually putting the sketches back up here because like I said before, I told you guys that I love the sketches. I wasn't going to keep the sketches down. Like I said, I was just trying something new. But I am going to go ahead and put the sketches back up here. And I'm just going to show you guys another way that I um, end up putting the sketches. And I do like the sketches next to each other. I think they complement each other well. And it just looks cohesive. Comment if you guys agree. I know that it's different sketches out there with different girls, but I think by them being the same sketches, they just look better to me. I don't know. I want you guys to comment and let me know. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and put the sketches right here in the middle. I'm trying to see if I wanna scoot it over a little bit. Cause I want it to be like even. Okay. Because these do complement the space very well. So I agree on that with you guys for sure. Okay. So I'm gonna put those right there. And then next, guys, I'm going to take some books. Now, I don't know if I used books last time. Um, last time, I didn't feel like it was probably necessary. But I do want to take these little white books right here and put them on the edge right here. Probably like right here. So I'll put those there. And then I think what I want to do is I want to take the greenery that you guys seen last time um, in the little black face. I want to take this and I actually want to put it on top of the books. So like I said, this is just like a different type of way to decorate it. So I think I want this right here. Like I said, it's just it's all sorts of ways that this mantle can be decorated with or without the pictures. So, so far, this is how it's looking. I want you guys to comment and let me know what you guys think. I think I'm liking it so far, but I want you guys to comment and let me know what you think. I definitely like the books on top with the base. I think it looks really nice. And then now, I think what I want to do is I want to go ahead and take my candle holders that you guys see me haul a couple of weeks ago that I got from the Goodwill, which was $2 a piece. I want to take these. And I want to put these on the end right here. And to me, these just kind of just add that little nice touch to the space. Like right there. Do you guys like it with the candles? Do you guys think the candles was just like the last thing that was needed? I like the candles with it and I also like the vase on the other side but I want you guys to comment let me know what you guys think and then I'm thinking should I take this but see I like it with the two books but let's see how it looks with one book on there let's see how it looks with one book I'm gonna see if I like it better with the one book or put two books on there let me see hmm I think either way it looks good. What you guys think? I think it looks good either way. But I'll just keep the one book up there for now. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you guys what this little area is looking like right now. So what I did was I did take down the black mirror that was on here because I just felt like that went more with my glam and black and white decor that I had. So I did take that down. And what I did was I ended up putting up this little like old school like clock. I did get this from the Goodwill um, about a year ago, I believe. Um, <laughs> it can use maybe another paint job, but I thought it was just a really like nice vintage piece and i thought it really went well with the space so i did decide to go ahead and put this clock up on this wall now it could be a little bigger but it still works in the meantime i'll just keep it up here until i get something bigger but i did think it um actually contrasted well with the black and the white and then also just going kind of with the fireplace and just kind of like my color scheme and just kind of like my new space that i have going on right now so this is how the um little like i guess it's like a buffet I think like little area because they got like some little cabins down here comment below what do, I forgot what this is called I think it's like a buffet or something like that 
but um because i do have like two little cabinets down here but i did end up putting a little clock up here already and then we're going to go ahead and just kind of decorate this space which is going to be pretty simple and this is where i'm going to decorate um the pieces with that i end up getting from hobby lobby and home goods yesterday so let's go ahead and get started okay guys so the first thing i think i want to start with is probably the candle holders um these are the candle holders right here um from home goods i actually should take this tag off of here but yeah i just like the look of these but yeah i think i want to use these first with the space even though the walls are gray this is still like a different type of shade of gray and i just thought they just kind of match my space um with the decor and stuff that i have going on right now so i think these are the first things that i want to start with so what i'm going to do i'm, I'm going to go ahead and put these just like over here in the corner and i kind of want to bring them out some so they won't be so far back so they can actually stick out and then i think i'm gonna go ahead and just take my candles right here which these are the pillar candles i was telling you guys about and i'm just going to go ahead and sit these right up here now these are a little wider so i do wish that they had some bigger and they actually didn't but i did think that these were um decent enough so that's how this is looking right now I want you guys to comment and let me know what do you guys think so far next guys i'm going to go ahead and take these books right here which um is some books that i end up getting from the goodwill so i'm going to take these books right here and then i'm going to place these books like right here like i said this space right here is going to be pretty simple because i don't feel like i need to do a lot to this space because i'm going to have like big pieces that actually makes a really big statement so then we're going to take the vase I'm gonna put the vase right here okay i just really love that pop of green like i said i think it's like an olive green i just love that pop of green i just think it looks really beautiful right there and then these are the stems that we're going to go ahead and use today and then guys we're just going to place these stems right in here just like this I'm gonna place these in there just like that okay that's how that's looking so so far this is how everything was looking now i did contemplate on if i wanted to put something in the middle but guys i'm going to be honest when i thought about putting something in the middle i really thought it would look a little too cluttered so i didn't really want to add anything in the middle but i could but i really didn't want to um because i feel like just having this piece having a clock and then also having the candle holders right there i just thought it was enough for this space i think it actually looks kind of cute with the candle in the middle by itself i don't know it looks kind of cute it just looks so small down there <laughs> okay but y'all this is how it end up turning out
guys and welcome back to a brand new day guys so in today's video we are actually going to go ahead and decorate the living room i'm very excited y'all um it is a few things that i did change in here that i will show you guys if you're new here hi my name is imani do not forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're returning then hey guys welcome back to the channel so guys without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started i have been so busy all day so i just want to go ahead and get started show you guys what the living room is looking like right now and what i plan on doing so let's get started right here is like an overview of how this side of the room is looking right now now i did go ahead and put my trees on the side of my um sofa this is what i plan on kind of um doing with the trees and then i went ahead and put the um preservative moss in there it looks really good i put some little um bags in there to kind of like lift it up so i did that on each side this is how this one is looking it's like so fresh it smells really good and i did kind of like pull the branches out a little bit okay so that's how that looks then y'all right over here in the corner are you guys noticing anything are you guys noticing anything about this space what are you guys noticing guys are you guys noticing opportunity <laughs> you guys we end up moving the console table that was right here girl finally so we finally moved it did i get rid of it no but do i plan on getting rid of it mm, maybe i'm not sure but guys i just love this vibe right here the mirror the plant the window boom i just love this vibe and to be honest i don't feel like i need to put it big comment if you guys agree do you guys like it with the open space right now with the opportunities it's giving sis i need to keep that up out of here period because i'm loving all this i'm just loving it all so comment let me know so we did go ahead and move the console table right here so this is how this wall is looking and now we just got like a little blank canvas wall and also this is the mirror um that i put here in the corner because i feel like this mirror will go cute with the um new decor that i have so i think that is going to be really cute um with the decor so i went ahead and put my tall mirror which this was actually in my office and i went ahead and just put this right here in the corner which is perfect okay so i think i want to put the two pictures from home goods right here and i think that'll turn out really cute i'm almost for certain that i'm going to go ahead and keep my two plants right here on the side i just really like what they give in um and the lighting in here is looking real cute too um but i really like what these plants are giving on the side of the sofa so comment if you guys agree do you guys like the plants on the side of the sofa? I think it looks really cute. But yeah, comment, let me know. But this is how everything is looking right now. This is how the mantle is looking. Very plain Jane. And honestly, I think I'm going to keep the mantle pretty plain. Um, but I might add some. I'm not sure. We'll see. But yeah, um, I'm excited though. But I just wanted to show you guys how everything looks right now. And I think honestly... I think I'll go ahead and probably start with the mantle. Yeah, I think I'll start with the mantle. So let's go ahead and start with the mantle first. Just to get it out the way. Just so I can figure out exactly what I want to do with this. But I'm really thinking about putting like a clock in the middle with two lamps on the side. I ain't gonna lie. Now, I've never seen anybody put lamps on a mantle. But, I mean, I'm not like everybody else. So... <laughs> I think two lamps on the side would be cute. So I do want to try out these two lamps on the side and then put like this like a uh, chrome silver um, little clock that I've been having, which I think will really tie with the pictures and stuff from Home Goods. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, y'all. So these are the lamps I was talking about. I'm pretty sure I want to put these lamps like right here. The good thing about the cord is that it's clear, so it really don't show. And then also it'll bring light inside the living room as well. So I think I'm gonna take these two lamps and pretty much just put them like on the edge. I know it's different. Um, and I know you guys probably never seen people like put lamps on the mantle, but you know. I thought it was cute. I want you guys to comment, let me know what you guys think, but yeah, I like these lamps on here. And then, guys, this is the um, clock I was telling you guys about. Because what I wanted was to just have one big piece in here. I didn't necessarily want to have to put 
um, a ton of small pieces in here. So I thought this clock was really cute. And I think it matches perfect as well. So yeah. I want you guys to comment and let me know what you guys think so far. Now I was debating on whether or not if I wanted to bring out these black pillows. Um, you guys probably seen these pillows in which video? Oh well, I've had these black pillows since basically I had my black and white decor. So I've had these for a while. And I've also um, hauled these in my Amazon haul. So these are on my Amazon store too as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take these two pillows and actually put them back here. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this pillow here. And this is just simply just um, bringing out um, the black a little more within the little living room space right here. So I'm just gonna take these And just place them there that way we just got those already out the way and then we don't have to worry about it now remember i was telling y'all i think it'll be really cute if i had like two white pillows um in the back these are the white pillows i was talking about which came from home goods i think these in the back of the other ones that i have will be really cute so i think that's cute right there I think they're a nice size and then I'll take these pillows and put these right here I think right there is cute This throw right here, now I know that I had the, um, what was it? I think I had the white throw here at first. I felt like I needed to like pop a little black over here. So I did go ahead and switch it out. Um, I still have it. I just switched it out for this black, like, um, very chic, like, fur material. And I thought it was really pretty. And I think what I want to do is I think I just want to add this on here just to pop that black out. And then also just bring it out for my pillows that I have right here too as well. So I think I'm going to take this and I think I'm going to go ahead and I think I'll just put it like like up under here or something like that. And then like also what I do is to give it like more of a luxe look, I just kind of pinch it and kind of like make it like kind of like luxury looking and put like some lines in it. And that's what always make your um, throw just look more luxe and more high end as well. Okay guys, so this is the wall art close up right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the first one up. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here. Now, remember I told y'all the second one sits just a little bit higher. Not that much, but I feel like you can still um, tell that it's like not like matchy-matchy. So, I did place the second one right here. I'm so excited to do artwork in here, y'all, because y'all know that I don't never really get to do artwork, so this is very exciting for me. I want you guys to comment and let me know what you guys think. I think this looks absolutely gorgeous. The artwork is so pretty and I think I definitely executed this very well.
I think I want to go ahead and take my ottomans and put them down here. I just think they will definitely just kind of make the area pop even more up under the pictures. I want you guys to comment and let me know. Yeah, so I went ahead and added the ottomans. I think they look cute up under there. At first I was like, should I spread them apart more? But I really feel like they look better when they're close to each other, but I want you guys to comment and let me know. It looks really cute. So guys, I have this tray right here. And I think instead of like putting different things in like different places, I think what I'm gonna do is try to just put everything I'm, that I'm going to decorate with onto the tray. So I got this cute tray right here, which I just think just match perfect with this space. Let's take these two books right here. I think I'll place these right here. Now I was debating if I wanted to actually keep these white candles in here or not. Let me see. I don't know. I feel like I want to take them out. I just think, yeah, I think I want to take them out. Then I think I'll take these and probably maybe put them like right there. I did go ahead and take these little foam flowers that I ended up getting from, um, I think, Burlington a while back. And I think I'm just going to probably sit this like right here. And I feel like this is all I pretty much want to do with this table. Um, I don't want to like overdo it. Let me know what you guys think so far. I'm pretty sure I want to keep it plain like this. Well, not really plain. I'm pretty sure I want to keep it... Um, just like with this style because I know I don't want to do too much I think this is like and y'all know this is like my go-to couple of books my little candle things you know I don't do a lot when it comes to the um little coffee table but y'all that sun is going down I hope y'all can still see oh my goodness I was thinking about adding this candle, but then I'm like, I don't know if I want to add this. I mean, I could, but I'm like, mm, I don't know. Like, I could add it, but I'm not sure if it's necessary. Let me see how it would look if I put it up here. Oh, no. But, yeah, this is how the coffee table is looking right now. And I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it. I think I'm just going to keep it like that. And I think I want to do one more thing. Um, I think I want to... Y'all know them little gold tables that I got? I think I want to add them out here in the living room, y'all. Okay, y'all. So, remember um, the gold tables that I got? That I've been battling with. Whether if I'm going to get rid of them or not. I think I want these to go in here. But I really think I like those on the side, y'all. Comment, let me know. I think they're really cute. And I'm going to just take this other one. And I'm going to put it over here. Like this. Yeah, I think this is cute. Yeah. I think them little tables are the cutest. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I just feel like they're giving. But... As always, comment, let me know. I think I'll just put these candles right here. Just to kind of add a little something. Maybe a book. Maybe. 
Hey guys, and welcome to the next day. I am super excited to show you guys how the living room is looking. You guys, it turned out so gorgeous. Like, I'm so excited for the new space. But I'm also excited just to add, like, other colors and stuff because I have, like, the blank wall for, like, wall art and all that. So I'm super excited. Anyways, if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe if you like anything decorating or creating the space that you want to live in. And if you're returning, then, hey, girls, welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm so excited to show you guys the living room. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, guys, so this is, like, an overview of the living room. I just want to show you guys an overview before we start getting some close-ups and stuff. Okay, I did just add this um, little jar right here. But yeah, guys, just want to give you guys an overview real quick. I just think everything looks absolutely stunning. Love this for me. Seriously. And this is how the fireplace is looking. Okay, so let's start over here. First things first, girl. <laughs> Y'all, this wall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this masterpiece. Look at this masterpiece. No, no let me stop playing. But y'all, this looks absolutely gorgeous. Like, I feel like, oh my goodness. The way I set this up is just perfection. In my opinion <laughs> okay so these are the wall arts that i ended up getting from home goods these were 70 dollars for the wall art it did come with two and they're like the same paintings but like one is like um upside down from the other one so yeah that's how that is looking and then right here guys i actually just added this little tree right here last minute i just thought it just flowed really nice and i just feel like that tree was probably just like the added little touch that i needed even if I didn't have a little tree, it would have been cool. But I love the fact that it had like this little like gold brassy color. And then the little palm tree was just perfect, especially for the spring. And then guys down here, we have our um, ottomans that we end up getting from, I think, the at-home store. Okay. And then right here is the mirror that I end up getting from, I think this mirror came from, I think it was Walmart. But it's basically like a long mirror. And this is how long it is. Super cute. And I think this came from Walmart. And this mirror was about, I believe, I think it was like $100. So, really cute. It's, it has like a black frame. And then, yeah. Very luxury looking. Okay. And then over here is the plant. That looks really nice. These plants actually came from Hobby Lobby and they were on sale half price. Originally $100 and then I got it for $50. They were both half price. So I got two of these. And then like I said, we end up going ahead and putting the preserved moss in there. And over here we have the sofa. So all the pillows on the sofa came from Home Goods. Uh, I believe this pillow was $30 and these were $20 a piece. And then the throw came from, I think, TJ Maxx. And then a sofa came from Home Goods as well, which was a thousand. Okay. And then over here, we just have the other um, plant on the other side. And I just thought putting these two plants on each side just worked well together, in my opinion. Comment, let me know what you guys think. And then, guys, right here is my little coffee table. So the coffee table did come from Amazon. And then this tray came from Home Goods. This face came from Home Goods. I think it was on sale for like $25. And then these um, little foam flowers came from Burlington. I thought that was cute. I think a pop of color of these would be real cute in there too. I can't wait. And then down here I have my Elements of Sal book. And then I have my Chanel book. Both came from Amazon. And then these little um, candle holders came from Home Goods. And then this right here came from Amazon as well. These chairs right here came from Amazon. And then the black pillowcases I got from Amazon. They're actually on my Amazon store. And then the inserts I got from Amazon too as well. And then these little side tables right here, which I just think just go perfect with this space. Like that little hint of gold with that mirror just looked so good. It just, 
went perfect but these actually came from ross guys believe it or not i have had these since my apartment if you're a real og then you remember i've had these uh since my apartment they still doing their thing these were actually side tables when i was in my apartment in the living room so i just went ahead and just stuck them on the side of these chairs and i just thought i just added a nice little touch to them and then just gave like an extra little um you know area to where somebody can sit drinks or something like having a conversation so i thought that was really cute and up here we have the lamps i got these lamps i believe from burlington that was like 30 dollars a piece and then um this clock i've actually had for years now this was actually at the apartment too <laughs> i've had for years now this came from burlington i think it was like 30 dollars but it's so many cute clocks out there i can't wait to like really shop for like bigger pieces to go up here to like match whatever decor i'm doing in the living room so i'm really excited for that okay and then my rug actually came from Amazon as well. I get a lot of stuff from Amazon, y'all. <laughs> and then right over here, what I did was I just ended up putting um, some books right here with my candle, books, Goodwill. And then this mirror right here came from TJ Maxx. It was 30. These two candle holders came from, I think, Home Goods. They were like 25 together. And then these candles came from Walmart. Dining table, which I got from Facebook Market some years ago. And then I just ended up putting my ginger jar right there. And these chairs came from Amazon too as well. So this is just another overview for you guys. Also, my curtains came from Amazon as well. They are 95 inches high. If you guys are interested, I will link it below. And it's also in my Amazon store as well. And they're all white. I have not put anything um, in the fireplace right here yet. But I will. But... I ain't really pressed for real, but I'm sure something brighter will make it kind of just not look as dark. So, yeah, I think everything turned out so pretty. And then the pots came from, um, where did those pots come from? The pots came from Hobby Lobby too, and they were like $20 a piece. And then the preserved moss came from Michael's and it was on sale for like 15 but originally it was like 18 dollars per per bag y'all that mouse is expensive <laughs> i'm gonna tell you now i didn't realize how expensive mouse was but mouse is expensive but i think everything turned out gorgeous i want you guys to comment let me know what you think um i would definitely have some montages for you guys with some little music so you guys can really catch the vibes if i haven't already did it but yeah guys i love how everything turned out it is so pretty like i didn't realize that this wall had this much potential until i moved the um my long little um console table which was outdated looking um but i'm gonna tell y'all moving that console table truly made a difference um if not just made the room just come together like 10 times better so I'm so glad that I decided to move that because it's like it's like we got a whole other area of the house over here that didn't even exist and now that I have it like this it's like wow <laughs> I'm like I should have been moved there but everything has a timing it's gone now in the other room but this looks absolutely gorgeous and what's crazy is is that I had never knew what I was going to do to that wall but now now it makes sense that mirror in the corner with the two arts with the ottomans up under it is literally genius and also guys one day i think i should um maybe think about putting a console table there it's, it's so many opportunities on this wall now it's sickening prepare to be sick of me okay prepare to be sick of me because i'm about to go crazy in this living room the fact that i'm able to like bust out colors now and really get out of my zone in my element, y'all, it's going down. It's going down. Girl, don't be shocked if y'all see me do a little pink and purple here and there. A little, a little eggplant purple or something, you know. A little silver something. You know, I'm just, I ain't making no promises. But y'all, I'm very excited because I just feel like the furniture that I have can just pop with any type of decor. And it's absolutely stunning. I feel so lucky. And I'm just so grateful love this i want you guys to comment let me know i think the pillows look so good it was just the perfect pop of color that i needed and i'm so glad that i decided to go with this color first because yeah it's the mustard yellow for me also just everything else it looks gorgeous this is another view right here which just looks stunning love this 
I want you guys to comment and let me know. Do you guys plan on doing any of these colors for your living room or is this your color scheme right now as well? with the cords last time like I said I never wanted cords hanging neither I just knew I wanted lamps but this is what I'm gonna do I went ahead and ordered some Alexa lights from Amazon and basically we are not going to need the cords so what I'm gonna do is put the cords up here and I'm just gonna like hide them because I do like the lamps on the fireplace. Like, I'm not changing that. If I do, it's going to be when I change my decor or whatever. But right now, the core can be up here like this. And then, you won't even know that it even exists. Okay? So, that's what I'm doing with the cords right now. And like I said before, I did go ahead and order the Alexa lights so I will not need cords hanging yeah okay guys so this is the wall and the pictures are now even um eventually i was going to make them even i just was trying something new when i had one up more than the other one these are even now and also i pulled them closer together because what i'm gonna do is i want to put an entryway table at the bottom of this so that's why i actually scooted them together and i think it actually looks a lot better too as well i will be keeping the plant right here on the left side and what I want to do is add like an entryway table at the bottom. Now I do have an entryway table that I would like to add and I want to show you guys here. Right, right here is the entryway table that I do want to add into my living room. Now this entryway table did come from Ross and I just wanted you guys to get a good look at it. It is a white entryway table and then it also has the gold trim which looks really good and i love the design in here too as well i think when i got the little side tables that you guys seen i had got this at the same time because i was trying to kind of get pieces that kind of matched so this is what i want to use no it's not as long as the pictures is but i think it'll actually still turn out really cute i want you guys to comment and let me know what do you guys think about this this has actually been in my house it's my apartment so i've had this for years now um i'm pretty good at keeping stuff for years especially when it's really good quality so I'm very happy that I never got rid of this. And like I said, this was the table that my coffee and stuff was on. And then I had moved it into my office space. And then once I got the wall and the pictures of the wall, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and use this as the entryway table up under the pictures and decorate it. And I think that's going to be really cute. So 
this is how it looks really cute and then I'm gonna put it in the living room and then we're gonna try to style it hey guys, so as I said before we have the wall art right here which looks really good and then we have the plant right here so I'm gonna move the plant out the way real quick And then I want to take my ottomans and actually move them to the side as well. Okay. So basically what I want to do is I want to take um, the entryway table and like put it up under here. Like I said before, um, the entryway table is not as long as these two. So it is going to like maybe come like right here, like a little bit down there from the edge. I don't think that's really going to be a problem. Um, I think it'll still like look good. But I want you guys to comment and let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah. So yeah, I basically want to put it up under here and then try to decorate it and then we're going to see how it looks. I think it's going to look really cute though. So this is the entryway table. Like I said before, I know that it does not come as long as the picture, but I still think it looks cute right there. It is entryway tables that's probably longer, but I don't have an issue with this, honestly, and I really don't hate it. I think it still looks good, but I want you guys to kind of stare at that for a second. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know if you guys ever seen pictures that was a little wider than the entryway table. I think this still looks really good, honestly. I think it looks really pretty. As you know, my ottomans are a little thick. Now, one thing I noticed is that the ottomans are actually thicker. So they really don't exactly fit back here. But I want to see if I scoop this up a little bit, if it'll look right if I try to put them in there in the end. So let's see because I can't like put the entryway table all the way back on the wall and then the ottomans actually fit so I think what I want to do is just pull it up a little bit and then just put the ottomans in there like that let me know what you guys think now what I did was I took this ginger jar that you guys have seen before um, that was actually just on my little dining table and I put these little foam flowers in it which I thought was really pretty. So I put these little foam flowers in it right here and it's like three of them you know and I just kind of like made them to where they fit really nicely. So this is how this ginger jar look with these little foam flowers and then they have like these little green things sticking out right here. And then what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and place this on the entryway table. But I think I want to place it like right in the middle. It's just for some reason that just looks good to me. And then place this right here. I think it looked good in between that gap. But let me know what y'all think. So this is how it looks all together. I wanted to add something else, but I'm like, I feel like if I add something else, it's gonna clutter it because the entryway table for one is not that long and that's fine. Um, but the entryway table is not that long. So I feel like the ginger jar and the little flowers are just enough for me. And now I feel like I wanna put this back over here. like right there so guys these are the details on the entryway table I just want to give you guys a close-up What do I think about it? Um, 
I like it. Um, I definitely think it looks really good with the entryway table. Um, it could be longer, but it's not a crime that it's not. I think it still looks good if it's this size or even longer. Um, but I want you guys to comment and let me know. I do like the ottomans up under here. Um, I don't think it's a reason to put the ottomans on the side. In my opinion, I just think they look better up under there because it's like an open space. So I might as well put something up under there. Plus, it just make it more interesting. But I want you guys to comment let me know. I think, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to keep the pictures how they are. I don't think I'm going to scoot them closer together. I like them just a little bit apart. I just don't want them so close together because they are two different um, frames. And that's how I want them to come off. I don't want them to be too close. If I had wanted two close pictures, I would just would have got one big picture. But comment, let me know what you guys think so far. And then, like I said, I just end up putting um, the ginger jar right here with like some little foam flowers. Came from Burlington. And then I just put the lid right here. But as you guys can see, the entryway table is actually not that wide in width. So, yeah. That's why I don't want to clutter it because I think it's going to like make it look even smaller. covering up this I feel like I worked so hard to put all this together um <laughs> and to think that the sofa will just cover that just blows my mind even though like I could scoot it up on a rug but I mean luckily the sofa is not longer than this side of the rug so this is what i was thinking i know i got these two pictures back here in the entryway but what if i kept these right here kept that in the corner and moved the entryway over to this wall which is the wall that was always behind the sofa that never had nothing on it what if i move this over there and put yep mm. I think I just figured it out I think I can move the entryway table over there this can be opened I could even yep because now I feel like I could take the tree and place the tree like maybe like right there um yeah so i think i could probably leave these up right here leave that in the corner put the trees over here somewhere and then put this entryway table on that wall you know what else because i like this little open space right here now like like i feel like so much light comes in right here now it's crazy but i think i'll try to move this entryway table over here Put the chairs over here and see how they look. Which I think I want to place the chairs like. Because for some reason I don't want to cover the fireplace. Like it sounded good. But I don't want to cover that. And I'm thinking the two chairs could probably go. Maybe over there. And then like all this right here will be completely open. Okay. So. Right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scoot this back some. Just to scoot this rug back some. Okay. So. I do kind of feel like you can still see this part, but I think 
I would still want to hmm move that or should I sit on one? Sit on this corner. Let's see. I like these chairs right here. I'm liking what these are giving. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, y'all. So I end up putting one of the trees right here. Um, I feel like it do kind of cover up this little back area. Not too much though, but I do want to move this right here over here. So, and then also I'm thinking, how would it look if I put these? And should I put a outside? Like I said, we just trying some things right now just to see how they look. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna take this uh, clock right here, which this was the same clock that was over the mantle. And I just thought it'd be really cute right here. Okay, girl, look at you. You looking good, girl. <laughs> okay, let me know what y'all think. I think it look cute. Let me know. Like I said, this was the clock that was above the mantle on the fireplace and i just feel like it's given is it just me or does this look fabulous okay i'm done playing <laughs> i'm done playing so let me know what you guys think guys thinking if i want to put the ottomans right here first i had them over there but then i'm like i kind of like them right here not sure if I want them to completely come out of here. I feel like I want them to be like more like maybe this. That way it could just kind of serve as like, you know, I guess like little coffee tables, I guess. I don't know, girl. But um, I like that vibe though. Let me know. Remember that table I was telling you about? This is it right here. It's filthy, y'all but I can clean it real quick. I've always loved this coffee table. I think that's why I never got rid of it because I feel like it's a good piece to have. And like, that's why I really had got it because for one, it was black. Um, and I just thought it was really good quality as well. And I had loved the two round pieces in it. I just thought they were so elegant and it looked really good. So, um, if you guys are interested in this table, I did get it from Amazon. I will link it below if you guys would like to purchase. And then also my silver table, I got from Amazon as well. So, yeah. I just wanted to bring a different type of vibe in here. And I just thought bringing this table out would definitely give it a different type of look.
Okay, y'all, so we're about to go ahead and start to decorate. So basically, instead of putting like the same um, like yellow pillows on here, I think I'm gonna switch it around and put like my yellow ones on these two and then put my black and white ones over here just to kind of like switch it around a little bit. So I think I'll take my white ones Here. and then I'll take my black one right there and then I'll take this one sit it right here y'all I can't wait till I actually like get like some cute color pillows I just don't know what color yet but I want you guys to comment and let me know what color pillows do you guys think I should get um, because obviously it's kind of neutral in here, so we should be able to do a little color down. But I just wanted to, um, get it to where, you know, it was just set up different. And I do like the way it's set up now with the sofa right here and having this open because it just makes sense. And then my window is not covered, so I love that as well. But that's how this looks. I want you guys to comment and let me know what you think. And then over here, I'll go ahead and put my little like mustard color design pillows over here. Which I think is really pretty against this color for some reason. It looks so cute against that color to me. And I also like the ottomans right here as well. I just think they work really well together. I just took this pillow right here and I just set it on top of this long like, I guess like square ottoman, so I'll put that right there. I wanted it to be white, but I couldn't find my white pillowcases. My small I think what I wanna do is like take my books maybe place them like right here and then probably place the other one like right here just so they can be shown and I think I'll place this and put it like right here and I think I want to take these you guys think about that I think it looks actually pretty elegant I was kind of nervous because I know this table is kind of like a little edgy but honestly this is given I ain't even gonna lie like I think I'm really feeling this and I think it looks pretty good this looks cute and I love the fact that the two books at the bottom um, can still be shown. It's honestly why I liked at this table is because, wow, this is cute. <laughs> yeah, I love decorating. This is so cute. Um, so yeah, I think I like that. And honestly, I want something else like right in between. What else can I put right there? Let me see. I'm not going to overcrowd it, but I want something else like handle in here. I just feel like I need something in here. Like, I feel like I want something right in the middle right there for some reason. I don't know why, but I think just kind of adding something right there in the middle would just give. It just looks so pretty just even with that. Like, hmm. Let me think. Okay. Oh, all right. Please do not scratch my nail. Okay. 
Okay, so we were actually able to find a candle and put in there and I'm really liking the simplistic vibes. Even though it's just like a small little situation, it's still giving. Let me know what y'all think.